ಅಮೃತವಾಣೀ ಓ ಪ್ರೇಮವಾಣೀ ಓ ಪ್ರೇಮವಾಣಿ ಅಮೃತವಾಣಿ grace and blessings of the lord be always upon you dear brothers and sisters in christ today the november 2nd we celebrate the church celebrates the all souls day death was seen as the end death was seen as the destroyer death was seen as devastation of all our plans of all our wishes and dreams but that was before christ could come the son of god could come down and through his passion death and resurrection defeat this idea of death and now death is not the end for a christian death is a new beginning dear brothers and sisters today we remember all the faithful departed and we pray for them specially today every priest is supposed to celebrate or oh, three masses and every every catholic is obliged to attend the mass and pray for the souls and then also by going to the graves and praying for the departed gain indulgences for them why do we pray for them why do we pray for the souls as we already know dear brothers and sisters and as i've already always uh, during the all souls day the priest preach that we have three churches first is the pilgrim church that is the journeying church here on earth and second is the purifying church purgatory and third the victorious church in heaven yesterday all saints day we celebrated the victorious church and today the pilgrim church is praying for the purifying church while on earth while on earth we as catholics gain the foretaste of the presence of god in the most holy eucharist and purgatory means waiting longing desiring to see god who is not yet present so those who have already tasted god in the eucharist now the lack of his presence makes them suffer the great suffering in the purgatory is the absence of the presence of god so dear brothers and sisters it's our duty to pray for the departed to offer masses for them they are undergoing something called a love wound a wound of the absence of the lord for whom their heart so desires sufferings in the purgatory is for purification dear brothers and sisters when a child falls the mother's instinct automatically makes her to run and hold the child back and make the child rise again and if the child is in tears the mother consoles the child the same should be our reaction for the souls in purgatory at seeing them not being in the presence of god in suffering we should go pray for them and see that they reach so that when our turn comes we may find others praying for us is it possible to avoid purgatory dear brothers and sisters is it possible yes it is through living a life which is entirely dependent on god we can well understand why sins against charity hostility refusals to make peace bitterness stored up inside rejecting others and criticizing people we don't like us to send us to purgatory doing sins which are greater mortal sins we end up in a place which is not purgatory which is not heaven and we know which place it is so dear brothers and sisters let us close our eyes and reflect upon this fact 
that we are one day to die. Where are we going to go? Let us remember all our brothers and sisters who need our prayers, who are longing to see God, but yet His presence is void for them. Let's pray for them. Dear brothers and sisters, the life in this earth is just momentary. What really matters is the eternal life. But this momentary life gains heaven for us. So we make this prayer that we may really live a life worthy of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.